I want a picture of Rigby Lake. I'm going to grab this one right here. Open it up so it's full size. And again, with both windows, I'm just going to drag it over into GarageBand. And I see my green plus again, so it's good to drop. I'm going to release it here. Eyeball this a little bit, move it over. And maybe I want to make this just a little bit longer. So this is how I can adjust it. Assuming that all of your pictures are now dropped in in the correct order for viewing, it's time to record the voice part of your podcast. This can take a little while to get used to if you've never recorded your voice before, but GarageBand gives us a couple tools to make it easy. So I already deleted my other male voice track because I'm going to be the female voice. And I see here at the bottom of GarageBand, a big red button and you probably already know that this is how we're going to record. So with your script ready to go, your images in, you're ready to record. It's as simple as just pressing the red record button at the bottom and I'm going to see a red bar start to grow with audio waves on it. This means that it is successfully recording my voice. I can also see on the left side the green bars jumping. This is also detecting my voice. When I'm done recording the voice that I need, I'm going to press the red button again and stop recording. You're going to see that this red bar continues to go until you press spacebar or pause. I'm now going to go back and listen to what I recorded start to grow with audio waves on it. This means that it is successfully recording my voice. Okay, I'm pleased with what I recorded, but what I recommend for you is only record little bits at a time. For example, record the information for one picture, press pause, make sure it's matched up with a picture it belongs to, and then continue to record your other pieces. The longer you record without stopping, the more likely it is that you'll make a mistake and having to record over again. I can also edit audio. For example, I have this space here at the beginning before my voice actually starts. How do I know what is background noise and what is actually my voice talking? Well, I see this flat line for about two seconds and it was before I began to speak. Your microphone is very sensitive and will pick up everything in the room, whether it's the air conditioning or the washing machine, it's going to pick it up. So make sure you cut out any background noise as possible. I'm going to move my red marker to the end of this straight line because I know it's not my voice yet. I'm just going to go to Edit, Split. This is going to piece the background noise that I do want in my voice into two pieces. Whatever is in dark purple is what is selected. Here, it's the background noise. I'm going to press delete on my keyboard so my podcast starts directly with my voice. Once all of your pictures and voice are in place, it's time to enhance it a little bit with the jingle track. As mentioned before, this is the instrumental musical track for your podcast to add a little background music would at the beginning and at the end. You need to be careful with how much you use music in your podcast because remember the information you are giving is the most important part so we do not want the listener to be distracted with the music that we use. That is why we only recommend using instrumental pieces. No lyrics to songs or something like that and if so use it sparingly. We're going to be on our jingle track here, and I'm going to go to the audio tab on the right. And here's where you can see anything that you have loaded in iTunes. Um, it'll all show up here, but if I want to go to the jingles library, I actually have to open up iMovie. In iMovie, I'm going to go to the music note. 
and I'm going to open up under I like sound effects you're going to see a folder called jingles even though it's in another program again because it's in the I like suite I will be able to use any of the instrumentals here and there's over a hundred to choose from and I will be able to drag it over into GarageBand so I'm gonna sample a couple of these <laughs> Let's say I want to use Catwalk Short. Once I have it selected and I can see both windows, I'm going to grab it, drag it over here, and I see my green plus again. I'm going to let it drop. And just like that, I now have a jingle track. If I play it like this, let's see how it sounds as a song tries to compete with my voice. And I'm going to see a red bar start to grow you can see that it's distracting and I don't know which one I'm supposed to be listening to, the voice or the song. Here's where we can adjust the audio in a couple different ways. Let's say, for example, that I do not want my voice track to start immediately. That maybe at first I just want the instrumental to be playing with my title slide. It's as simple as moving my voice track down and having only my catwalk short play during this first slide. But if I play it like this in my preview, and I'm going to see a red bar, we can see that it's just a matter of time that my voice track still starts and my music is still playing. Also, I don't like how abruptly it starts with loud music. So I'm going to do a fade in technique and a fade out to gradually transition into my voice playing. So I'm here on my jingles track, and in this toolbar right here, I'm going to go to this little triangle, which is going to show me my track volume that I can adjust. You can see that right now it's set at one volume level. If I want this to fade in, I just click on my mouse at a point where I want the volume to change. You can see anywhere I click, it makes a point. So I have one point here and I want my volume to start at nothing, so I'm going to drop it down. I'm going to move this over so it fades in pretty fast. This upward slant represents audio fading in. And then here, I want it to fade out, but I want it to be kind of gradual so it doesn't just stop automatically when my voice starts. So I'm going to make this downward slant a little longer. And this audio here can be totally turned off because by then I'm well into the information of my podcast and I don't want to hear any music. So let's test how this sounds. And I'm going to see a red bar start to grow. That's pretty good. So this is a fade in, and at the end of my podcast, maybe I'm going to show some credits. This is another great opportunity to have audio fade in again. You should use musical tracks sparingly in the middle of your podcast. Again, maybe it's sometimes you can find an appropriate way to use it, but I recommend starting it with a little instrumental and at the end including some music as well to enhance it overall. Well, now that you've put all the components of making a podcast together, it's time to go make one of your own. Remember, start with a script, look for your images, add your voice, and enhance it with music. Podcast making is a great new way to share information and do presentations. So have fun with it and be creative.